Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kit Hanley. A long awaited project is now finally complete. Today, the highly anticipated Terre Haute Convention Center held its grand opening. In tonight's top story, Portia Williams takes us behind the scenes of opening day. The convention center is now open. Officials say this will bring a lot of revenue and people to this area. The ribbon is cut and the grand opening is complete. It's official. After years of planning, the Terre Haute Convention Center is finally open. The general manager, Tennille Warner, says it was right on schedule. It's been under budget. Uh, it's been, I, I'm wanting to say, right around $26 million. Uh, but the budgeting and the, the tax dollars that go to this is really comes from the food and beverage tax, so it's not individual taxes and things like that. Community members are excited for what this means for the city of Terre Haute. I am so looking forward to the exposure to new things, new organizations, new platforms, new people. This is really going to diversify the folks that come through the Terre Haute area. There were 30 vendors set up at Saturday's grand opening. Mayor Bennett says this is a place where people can feel welcome. Everybody's been in a convention center sometime in their life, and you wanted it. We wanted this to be something that really came across as warm and inviting, and it, it's done that. Water says the center will bring in 20 to 30 thousand people to Terre Haute each year. She says the increased tourism will be good for the local economy. When we have uh, meetings and events that are normally taking place in Bloomington, Evansville, Indianapolis, we now have the ability to bring those events here because we have a place to house those. If you want to learn more about what the Convention Center has to offer, just visit our website. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting in Terre Haute, Portia Williams, News 10.